Hey everybody, it's me, Sweet Chip and Sweet, and I'm back finally with another update for you guys. And this is not just any update, this is a very special update because this is my one year post op update. It is my surge anniversary, my sleeve anniversary. Um, exactly one year ago today, on Tuesday, July 19th, 2011, I had my sleeve surgery. Um, and for anybody who's new to my videos, um, sidebar my tree, go back and watch the rest of them, but I am in South Jersey, um, and I have my sleeve done by the most awesome, most phenomenal, best surgeon, hands down, on earth, Dr. Mark Neff in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Um, and I had that done a year ago. It's been a whole year. It's been a year. I made it. A year. Yes. So it's been a whole year since I've had my surgery, and so I've got lots to update you guys about. I'm gonna try and not make it too long, but I gotta tell you. So first things first, numbers. When I started out my day of surgery, I was 218 pounds, and today, one year later, I am 131 pounds. Um, and that's actually below my goal. My goal was to be 138 pounds, which would have been 80 pounds off. And I've actually lost 87 pounds. And I'm going to talk in a little bit about my issues with stabilizing my weight, but 87 pounds down. And so long, like I never see you again, 87 pounds. Um, in terms of my measurements, I'm also 87 inches off of my body um, and let me give you some specifics and give you specific numbers okay so i lost 12 inches from my brain band, 16 from my bust four and a half from my arms 16 and a half off of my waist um 15 and a half off of my hips nine off of my upper thigh and four and a half off of my lower thigh uh, five off of my calves and four off of my neck. So a total of 87 inches set. One year later, 87 pounds down, 87 inches off. Not bad, not bad. Um, and in terms of my size, when I started out a year ago, I was size 18 slash 20. Today, I am a size 4 slash 6. And I'll give, give you a full body shot so you can take a look and see what I'm looking at these things. I actually wore a bathing suit for the first time in about seven years. I went to the beach a couple weeks ago. Wore a bathing suit and I looked good if I don't say so myself. But I didn't take any pictures. So I'll try and work on that and get you guys a picture of me in my bathing suit. And it was a two-piece. It was a tankini. I didn't show you all of what's going on in this mid section that I'm going to show you guys in a second. But it was cute and it was cute. And it was a bathing suit and I haven't worn one in seven years. Okay. So those are my numbers. Um, I'm really, really happy with my progress over the course of this last year. It's been nothing sort of phenomenal. Um, I've had a couple of little snags along the way, which you guys know about from watching my videos, but I'll talk about them again in a little bit. But I don't regret a thing. I know I've said it before in my videos. A year later, I am so pleased, so happy that I made this decision. Um, I mean, Aside from accepting Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, this is the best decision that I have made in my entire life. And I'm so happy. I'm proud of myself. I feel great. Foot good. I can't be happy. Um, so for any of you who are in your research phase right now, um, you can take it from me. Best decision. One of the best decisions you're going to make. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy with my progress. I actually reach my goal at around, I believe it was around month nine, nine months post that, um, but it took me to lose those first 80 pounds, in the last three months I've dropped another seven pounds. Um, in terms of eating, you guys know me, I eat whatever I want, I don't count carbs, I don't count calories, I don't count anything, I pay attention to my body and how things make me feel. Um, and so, I still eat whatever I want for the most part, I still pretty much just Course of habit, I don't do much pasta, bread, rice. I'd say, I don't say it completely, but maybe once or twice in a two or three week period, I might have one of those things. Um, just because I don't like the way they feel when they sit in my stomach, no other reason. 
Um, and dairy seems to be giving me a lot of trouble these days. And I don't know if that has anything to do with the sleep. I think it has more to do with my gallbladder issue that I had back in November. And since I had that out. But um, other than that, it's okay. Swim milk gives me just fine. And of course, instead of ice cream, so the yogurt is a regular part of my everyday almost diet. Um, so yeah, in terms of food, I'm eating about anything I want. In terms of amount, when I first started out, I was eating like two, three ounces a few at a time. I think now, most times, I can eat about five to six ounces of food. And of course, if it's something like beef, but I can't really do a whole lot of that. Um, but for the most part, I'm getting in between five and six ounces of food per sitting, um, which is pretty normal. Pretty much about twice as much as I was able to eat just starting out a year ago, um, fresh out of surgery. Um, let's see. And so in terms of my issues, I had two issues this year. One was with my hair falling out. Around four months post-op, I started losing my hair. Um, not a lot, but it was enough to notice to where, like, one side of my head, like, this side of my head was um, noticeably thinner to the touch than the other side was. So I was losing hair a lot, and that went from about month four to about month seven or eight. And by about month eight, it stopped. I really haven't lost any hair. And as you can see, it's in a bun right now, but it's going back nice and thick as it always was. And I'm not really having any issues, just my normal shedding. Um, but my hair's going back. The hair loss has stopped. I didn't do anything special. I didn't take any special vitamins like some people do. I just kind of adopted the philosophy that it comes with the territory. It's a part of it. And everything that I read said that you really can't do anything about it. It's really, it's in your DNA whether or not you're going to lose hair or not. So you just kind of got to go with it. And that's what I did. Um, and it worked for me because, you know, I had to go through that for a period of time. But now things are all good. Um, so that was one issue I had. The other, of course, was my gallbladder. You guys know, back in November, I had gallbladder surgery to have it out. A lot of people will have it out. Their surgeons will take it out if they have it at the time of surgery. My surgeon, I love him very dearly. Um, he's very, very cautious, and he didn't want to do anything extra. So um, he opted not to take it out during surgery. And then I ended up having some issues. And I guess you could consider gallbladder issues being not necessarily a complication, but having a surgery, which means rapid weight loss, makes you more susceptible um, to having gallbladder issues. So I did, I had that bad boy out in November and haven't had any other issues with it since. So those are really, and I'm very fortunate, those are really the only two issues that I've had in this past year with my surgery. Um, and then now, however, I have a couple more issues I'm going to talk about. Um, one of those issues is stopping the weight loss and maintaining my weight loss. Because as I said, I'm about seven pounds under my goal weight right now. And I actually got down, the lowest I've gotten was about 129, um, which is nine pounds under my goal weight, which was just way too much. And so I've been kind of struggling to get, you know, to maintain my weight. And so I actually went in to see my nutritionist. She made the suggestion that I add in some more complex carbs, um, like some potatoes, or like do wraps instead of a salad. Just take the salad, throw some meat in it, put it in a tortilla wrap, just to get some of that, those cooked carbs in. Um, and of course, I've come up with my own plan, which I call Slurpee Therapy. Um, those who live in the Northeast region, if you got a 7 Eleven, you know what a Slurpee is. It's that slushy, icy kind of drink. Well, I have at least one of those a day and there have been quite a few days where I've had two in one day. Um, part of it because it's summer and it's muggy and it's hot here. Part of it because I've been trying to get into extra calories so that I can stop this weight loss. And so if I don't have one every day, I'm having one at least in the four to seven times a week, just about every day. Um, and my doctor knows, my nutritionist knows, they're okay with it. I'm not super overdoing anything. But I'm really trying to work on um, getting this weight loss to stabilize. So I need to get some extra calories in. So between my scraping therapy and of course my frozen yogurt therapy, um, I don't know, it's still ain't working because I'm still dropping down. So I'm really hoping that, you know, my body will find its way some kind of way. I don't know if maybe this is where my body just wants to be at this weight, okay? Um, but I'm an African American, as you can see, and kind of like curves. So I don't want to get too small. Um, 
But hopefully it's, there's nothing else going on. It's just a matter of my body just figuring out where it wants and needs to be. So of course I update you guys on that. Um, but I've pretty much been fluctuating between like 1.30 and 1.34. It's kind of where I've been. I haven't gotten beyond 1.34 and haven't gotten below 1.30 except for that one time that I really didn't want to turn on. So working on that. So that's one of my new issues. And my other new issue is this stuff. Loose skin. I'm starting to notice loose skin. So I have a little bit of loose skin on my arms. I have some on my inner thighs. I have some on my tummy. I'm going to show you guys what that mess looks like. Now, it's not a lot in comparison to other people, but for me, it feels like it's a lot. So I am considering plastics. I did talk to my surgeon about plastics, so I'm going to be looking into that in the next year or so. One thing I did notice, though, is that I didn't start to notice the loose skin until I stopped working out. And I stopped working out because of my whole, you know, trying to stabilize my weight thing. And I didn't want to keep working out and keep losing more weight, so I kind of took it off of that for a little while. But it wasn't until after then that I noticed. Um, and I'm talking again with my doctor, my nutritionist, protein is key. So exercising, protein are key to um, preventing some of, can't say all of it, because again, some things are just your DNA, it's just what is going to or is not going to happen with your body. But they're key to helping you with those skin issues. I know a lot of people worry about skin. Um, and I also use a skin formulation. I like the Nivea one, and it has worked really well for me. But I think my biggest issue with the skin has been exercising. So I'm getting ready to start working out a little more regularly once I can kind of get this thing somewhat stabilized. If I could stay out of weight for at least a week or two, um, or maybe in two weeks is kind of pushing, but maybe for a week and then I'll get back in there. Um, but yeah, that's become an issue. And then um, my third issue could be a non-issue, but um, you guys know how I feel about who I do and do not share my surgery information with. And I figure it's been a year. Everybody's seen what I look like now. A lot of people have kind of figured it out. Um, but I'm thinking about coming out of the weight loss closet. It's been a year, it's time, we good. We won't care anybody else to in here. Um, so I think that I am going to go ahead and come out of the closet with my weight loss surgery. And I have an announcement that I'm going to make at the end of this video. And based on that, I really kind of have no choice but to. So those are my new issues I'm dealing with now. Um, but other than that, I think I've pretty much recorded everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, again, it's been a really great year. I guess my, my next goal, I have two new goals. My next goal is just to, again, get back in the gym and get cleaned up um, and do something with this looseness. Um, and my last new goal, which I'm going to announce in a second, let me save that because I do want to give you guys a full body shot. So I'm going to give you guys a full body shot. I'm going to show you what my scars look like because some people have concerns about the scars. Keep in mind, I am darker skin. My skin and my skin is may not look like that. Um, and I didn't really use any oils or anything. And my scars, I probably should have, but I got real lazy with it. Um, and then I'm going to show you what my loose skin and my belly looks like. Brace yourselves. Okay. That is not cute. So, hence the discussion with the surgeon about plastic. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's it. As always, your questions, comments, leave them, post them, send me messages, or now you can visit me at www.berrybodies.com. That's B A R I B O D I S. I think it's going to be on the screen right there. Um, berrybodies.com. And that is my new business that I've started. Um, and for now, when you go to www.berrybodies.com, it will take you to our Facebook page because we're in the process of building a 
crazy, ridiculously awesome website. Nothing that's out there compares to what their bodies is going to be like. None of those foreign sites, none of them. Nothing is compared. It's going to compare to this. So in the meantime, we're going to be on Facebook, and we can continue our interactions on Facebook. I'll be posting some new videos on Facebook. I'll post some of your videos if you send them to me. Your questions, your comments, information, all that good stuff. So take a look, go there, like the page, and we'll continue our discussion there. Um, on the Facebook pages, I won't be posting here quite so often anymore. Um, I guess one year is like the the miles thing, I don't know. Um, but every so often, you'll catch me on here. Um, and I definitely have to give a big shout out to Sarah Get um, who has been one of my buddies throughout this journey. She recently celebrated her one year. Congratulations to you, girl. Good job. You look awesome. Awesome. Um, so you guys check out her videos and research was out there. Free app people go check out the videos. Take a look at some of the people that I subscribe to. Check out their videos. There's so much information out there. Um, and so much experience and knowledge and information that you can get from those of us who have been through the process. Um, so and I have to say a huge thank you to you guys, to all my subscribers out there. Thank you guys. There's no way that I couldn't have gotten through this first year without you guys and it may sound cliche but it really is the truth because I really get encouraged from your comments and you know the emails that some of you guys send me and, and all those things so thank you thank you thank you um keep watching for my updates and share my channel with your friends and of course come on over to Barry Bodies and we can continue things there um but a huge thank you to you guys um, and other than that, that's it. That's my one year, one year update. Um, and until I talk to you guys again, everybody be well.